Hello there, Star Warriors. Welcome back to Star Wars Geek Out. This week's episode will feature one of the unsung heroes of the Resistance, Paige Tico, a gunner on the Cobalt Hammer who just so happened to save the whole Resistance at the Battle of Dakar. If you like this video, please be sure to force punch that like button below. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss a single episode. Ready, Star Warriors? Let's dive right in. Paige Tico, nicknamed Pepe by her sister, was a human female who served as a gunner on the Cobalt Hammer, an MG-100 Star Fortress SF-17 in the Resistance during their conflict with the First Order. She was a sister of Rose Tico, a Resistance maintenance worker. She experienced the cruelty and destructive nature of the First Order firsthand with the destruction of her homeworld, Hayes Minor. She fled the Automox system where Hayes Minor was and joined the Resistance with her younger sister, Rose. Paige loved animals, particularly Fathiers, and dreamt of seeing one someday. Though she wouldn't get the chance in her lifetime, her sister Rose gets to ride a Fathier during a mission to Canto Bight. Paige's love of Fathiers paled in comparison to her devotion to Rose. They had always been close, even from childhood. Her own words illustrates this perfectly. There's one part of my life you absolutely need to understand. Nothing is more important to me than my little sister Rose. Each of the sisters carried a half of a Hazian smelt medallion, the only thing they had left of their home world. In 34 ABY, or after the Battle of Yavin, during the evacuation of Dakar, Page's bomber, the Cobalt Hammer, flew against the First Order's Mandator IV class siege dreadnought Fulminatrix, commanded by Captain Moden Kennedy. After the pilot of the Cobalt Hammer was killed, Paige was ordered to release the proton bombs of her bomber. She hurriedly climbed out of her bomber's hold to the bombardier station, where she took control to release the bombs, but the laser cannon of a First Order TIE fighter hit the hammer, causing her to fall off the ladder and lose consciousness. When Paige came to, she discovered that the Resistance was in trouble. Unfortunately, the control to release the proton bombs had been left at the top of the ladder. Knowing that she would not have enough time to get back into the cockpit and activate the bombs with the control, Paige kicked the ladder so that the control would fall into her hands. After several kicks, the control fell into the abyss, but Paige managed to catch it. Then Paige released the proton bombs which fell on the Fulminatrix, destroying the ship and killing Captain Kennedy and his crew. As it was too late for escape and knowing her sacrifice would keep the Resistance safe, Paige closed her eyes and accepted her death. She touches her Hazian medallion, showing that she's thinking of her sister in her last moments, and no doubt focuses on the fact that her sacrifice means that Rose will live to fight another day. This is likely the last thought in her mind as the fire engulfed the hammer. Paige's sacrifice allowed the Resistance fleet to escape Dakar's system, although the First Order would eventually catch up to them. Rose took her death very hard. Writing a brief epitaph at the end of the journal Paige had kept, Rose described her part in the battle, commending her older sister as having died a hero and swearing that she wouldn't let the First Order destroy the Resistance and would find a way to defeat them. Paige Tico will not be forgotten. She may be gone, but her legacy lives on as long as the spark of the Resistance remains. Okay, that's it for this week's episode on Paige Tico. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to force punch that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. See you in the next episode, Star Warriors. Bye!